Hey guys, it's Ben. I am back on YouTube. I haven't really posted a video probably since over a year ago. It was my Black Friday 2018. That was a fun time, but um, a lot has happened since then. Um, I kind of wanted to just make a video today. There was a specific reason, but I'm gonna explain my life a little bit just from where it was last time I took a video and posted it to now. And um, December 2018, I got jaw surgery. I got double jaw surgery. Um, and that was not an easy thing to go through. So they essentially broke my bottom jaw, my top jaw, and realigned them. I had an underbite, so that was the process. And I also had braces. So they kept the braces on during the whole thing and um, I had to recover. And it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Um, that was my life for some time. Um, right now, I am currently working two jobs. I work at Express um, still, which I love, and I'm working at Michael Kors. So I got a part-time job there in October of 2019. It was really because I went through a bad breakup and I needed to occupy my time a little bit better because I would have just stayed at home depressed and, and I wouldn't be in a place where I'm at now. I needed to get out of the house and work a little bit. And I also really like working in general, so I thought maybe why not look for a new business a little higher end and see how it goes. And it, so far it has been the best idea and best decision I made because I I really am good at selling stuff, not to brag, but I, I have realized that it's a strong point in my, my career where I can actually sell things, and I actually never thought I would be good at selling anything. I worked at Plato's Closet for three years, and that was just kind of like, this is a good job to really figure out how business works. This job right now, Michael Kors, is truly the real thing, and um, I get to see what it's like with a high-end business, so I really like it. Speaking of Michael Kors, I also have a little watch collection. I wanted to make a video today and um, show my watch collection that I have. Most of them are Michael Kors. I think I have one Fossil. I have a Beverly Hills Polo one, um, a G-Shock, and a Casio. Those are just separate, but I do have a couple Michael Kors, so um, that is gonna be my video today. So this would be the new watch box that I got uh, for my birthday just last week. It was March 3rd, so um, this is a new thing for me. I've always kind of laid my watches out in my dresser, but I never had a place to put them. So after I got this beauty, I kind of need a place to put it. Um, so I got this. It has a little tray right here for your jewelry, if you have any. Um, so yeah, I have some earrings, some bracelets, some hoops, <laughs> if you ever need them. Um, pretty much everything, little bits of cologne. This comes with two keys to lock it, um, in case you have shady roommates. But um, no, I just live with my family, so um, I would never lock it, but it's beautiful to have. So the first watch I have today is the Michael Kors Oversized Wren. Um, it is 44 millimeters in diameter, 22 millimeters bandwidth. Um, it is a wonderful watch. Um, I like how oversized it is. They do have smaller versions, but uh, for my wrist size, I like the oversized. So the 44 millimeter is actually perfect for me. Um, it's about the size of my, all of my other watches. Um, what I really like most about this is the gold accent. Um, so like when I wear my gold bracelet or have my um, shoes on with the gold buckle on it, it really does match this and accent it really well. Um, so if you have gold or like gold, this is a really nice watch to have. Um, what I like a lot about it too, which I didn't notice when I bought it, but it also has the glossy middle piece to your band and then you have your matte um, pieces to the band as well. So you got kind of a mix of both and then you got your gold. So it overall is a great watch. Um, it looks amazing. Um, nothing wrong about it. No, no complaints, no criticism. I really, really like this watch a lot. So this is actually my favorite watch that I have ever owned in my whole life. Um, this is the Michael Kors Bayville. Um, it is 44 millimeters in diameter, 22 in the band. This is my all time favorite watch. Um, I don't think I've ever liked a watch or worn a watch more than I've worn this one. I saw this one in silver when I first started working at Michael Kors and I loved the look of it. It was so cool. It's the same thing but silver. Um, it actually had a rose gold um, outline to this instead of black and then the inside was a little bit rose gold, but it was more dark rose gold. So it didn't look like rose gold, but it, it had a little bit of tone to it, kind of like a copper. I really, really wanted a gold watch. I already had a silver, so I really wanted to get myself a gold, and I saw online that they carried this, the Bayville in gold and silver, so I ordered that one, and this was the best purchase I think I ever made.
So this one's also Michael Kors. Um, it is called the Lexington. It is 44 millimeters in diameter and then 22 in the band. I really think this one will never go away at Michael Kors. So this is one of the general watches that I think men and women both look at. And I think the reason is because it's so simple, but it's glamorous. It, sh it stands out, it shines. So um, I think what people probably see most about this is this right here is probably the first thing. Um, one thing I noticed was the one uh, Roman numeral, which I think is nice. I like, at least one, which is fine. And the rest are just like little slats to show what hour it is. Um, I do like that. Um, but I really just like the simplicity of it and the fact that I can wear this with anything, anything I want. So whether I have on a, a silver um, accent already, I can accent this even more and stand out. Or if I have no jewelry on or just like a red shirt on and a pair of jeans, you can put this on and it just makes it look very, very nice. So I wear this out whenever I go to the store, <laughs> you know, just to have a little accessory. Um, on me, but you know, this is a very nice watch and I can wear this whenever I go out or whenever I just go to the store. So it's a, it's a universal watch. So this is another Michael Kors watch. Um, it is called the Gauge. Um, I believe it's 45 millimeters in diameter. I'm not sure with the leather band if it's gonna be 22 like all the others, but I would assume it's about the same. This is actually the very first watch that I got when I was 17. So um, I really like Michael Kors way beyond before I started working there. So I, I think what I like about this one the most is the leather band with the blue face. The blue face is probably my favorite part because you can really match your blue shirts or anything like your blue shoes or whatever that you have that's blue, and match it with your watch. I wear like a brown belt with a blue shirt and then um, put the watch on and it's all matched and brown shoes, obviously. This is one of my favorites because it's different than the rest I, I have. And um, I think I kind of put this one aside more so than I should have because this one really does look very, very nice when I go out. So I'm gonna start wearing this one a little bit more. This would be the Fossil watch that I have. It's the only one I have from Fossil. It's called the Chronograph Grant. It is 44 millimeters in diameter, 22 in the band. I like this one because it's a different uh, leather, kind of leather in a different color than the other leather band I have. So if I ever want to switch it up a little bit, um, depending on what leather um, color I want to go for for the day, I can choose between these two. If I can't make a decision, I can just wear the silver watch and just be done with it. So that's again why I like having that silver watch. I like this one a lot. It was probably the watch I got when I was 18 from my mom and um, I will keep it forever. I love it. I don't wear it a lot because Michael Kors really did take over my life. So I'm just um, keeping it in my box for when I do want to wear it. So this watch is from Polo Beverly Hills. Um, I got this probably two, three years ago. I don't really wear it much, um, mainly because for the first time I wore it, the band broke a little bit, but I wanted to keep it because I like the look of it. Um, obviously it's not high end, but it looks nice. It's got the Lexington look a little bit with the rigid edges, which is a reason why I like it. I also like the horizontal face design to it. Um, so I have kept it just in case I do decide I wanna wear it, but this would be the watch I probably do get rid of when I wanna replace it with a new higher end watch. It was my look probably when I was 19, 18, 19, um, so I was just kind of happy about it, but I never really wore it, and I got really into Michael Kors and Fossil, so I kept it, but I'll probably get rid of it once I decide to get a new watch. So this one's the Casio watch that I don't ever wear, but I needed it for an event last year, and I didn't want to get my Michael Kors and my Fossil watches ruined, so I bought this. Um, I needed a digital watch also. So I kind of wanted um, to go for the squarish look, the, the rectangular look. I do like this for its practical reasons, um, but to go out with, I would never wear this. I'm sorry, but I would never wear this one if I want to look good. I would wear my Michael Kors, but it's a good watch to have for practical reasons. It's got that uh, rubber band. Um, I mean, it's... It's, it's a decent watch, but I got better, so.
And my last watch would be the G-Shock that I've had for about a year. I loved it when I wore it and then it just stopped working. So I went to the watch place to get the battery changed. I thought that was the reason. I believe it's a solar issue. I don't know what's wrong. I guess I put it out in the light or something, but um, I think they said it's screwed. So I can't really do anything about this watch. But when I had this and wore it, it was a really cool look. I felt manly. I felt like, you know, I could pull this off really well. It was one of my first actual black watch I had, which is which made me want to get the Ren. Um, but I really like this. I hope I can get another one someday. I don't know if I will, um, but it was a good look. It was practical again. Definitely not my vibe now. I'd say maybe a year or two ago would have been more my vibe. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm glad I kept it. If I can get it fixed, I'll get it fixed. I also wanted to explain why I'm all dressed up today. Um, earlier on, I had an interview for a jewelry store and it was like a really good opportunity and I didn't even ask for it. It kind of just came to me. Um, so I wanted to look extra good and I also thought it would be a great way to get out of clothing retail and then stay in retail, but go to jewelry. And it's a good feel to go into. So I wanted to look extra good today. So I have my blazer on, I have my white button down, I have my MK belt on and then you know, that little buckle. It's what I was talking about with matching my watch with my buckles or, you know, my MK belt. So, um, yeah, that's why I look good. That was my watch collection. I'm really happy I got to share this with you guys because I've been wanting to share more with you guys over YouTube. I just haven't had any idea what to post. But recently I looked on YouTube and I watched this guy and he showed off all the watches that he's gotten in the past. And I personally thought that was a really good video to post. And I thought I could do the same. I'm hoping whenever I get more watches, I'm gonna update you guys on the, the new ones I got and maybe even the old ones I got rid of and why. I just wanted to kind of come back on here because I missed you guys. I really want to start being on YouTube more, being more present, having things to post. So I want you guys to comment in the comment section below what you guys want to hear from me because I've been kind of ghosting y'all um, for the past like five years. So this is probably the worst idea because I have a wool coat on and I'm bringing my fluffy cat up with me, but we want to say bye. Thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna let her go. Um, thank you very much guys. I will be posting very soon. Thank you, bye.